Sandeep Pandey born the 22nd of July 1965 is an Indian social activist He co-founded Asha for Education with Dr Deepak Gupta presently professor at IIT Kanpur and VJP Srivastava while working on his PhD in mechanical engineering at the University of California Berkeley He is currently a visiting professor at the Indian Institute of Technology Gandhinagar Early life Pandey is an alumnus of the Institute of Technology, Banaras Hindu University now Indian Institute of Technology BHU, Varanasi. Thereafter he did his Master's in Manufacturing and Computer Science from Syracuse University, followed by a doctorate in Control Theory at the University of California, Berkeley, which he completed in 1992. Career After completing his education, he moved back to India and started teaching at the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur in 1992 and later founded a registered organisation named Asha Trust which currently has several centres, chapters across India. His team has launched a people's group named Asha Parivar in 2008 that focuses on strengthening democracy at the grassroots in Hardoi district of Uttar Pradesh. Pandey's work at Asha Parivar is focused on right to information and other forms of citizen participation in removing corruption and improving the efficiency of governance. He leads the National Alliance of People's Movements (NAPM), the largest network of grassroots people's movements in India. He was awarded the Ramon Magsaysay Award, often termed the Asian Nobel Prize, in 2002 for the emergent leadership category. Pandey led an Indo-Pakistan peace march from New Delhi to Multan in 2005. He has served as an advisor to the Indian government's Central Advisory Board for Education (CABE). His idea of education is based on empowerment by imbibing the spirit of cooperation instead of competition. Currently he is working as a visiting professor in the Chemical Engineering Department and Mechanical Engineering Department at Indian Institute of Technology Varanasi. Sandeep Pandey removed from BHU statement issued by Sandeep Pandey after being sacked from IIT BHU. My contract at IIT, BHU Varanasi as a visiting faculty has prematurely ended after teaching there for 2.5 years due to a decision of Board of Governors. In a recent board meeting the Vice-Chancellor of BHU, who was made the chairman of IIT BOG by Minister of HRD, GOI, bypassing the panel of five names recommended by a resolution of BOG, Prof. G. C. Tripathi, and Dean of Faculty Affairs, IIT, BHU, Prof. Donajay Pandey, both gentlemen associated with RSS, primarily forced the decision. The charges against me are that I'm a Naxalite, showed a banned documentary on Nirbaya case and am involved in anti-national activities. I wish to clarify that I'm not a Naxalite. The ideology that I would consider myself closest to is Gandhian. But I do identify with the causes taken up by Naxalites even though I may not agree with their methods. I also think that it requires a lot of courage and sacrifice to be a Naxalite and I certainly don't have that kind of resolve. The banned documentary on Nirbaya made by BBC was to be screened in my development studies class during the even semester of academic year 2014-15 but the decision was withdrawn after intervention of Chief Proctor of BHU and SO of Lanka Police Station just before the class. However, a discussion on the issue of violence against women in our society was conducted after screening a different documentary. I don't believe in the idea of a nation or national boundaries, which I think are responsible for artificial divisions among human beings similar to ones on the basis of caste or religion. Hence I cannot be anti or pro-nation. I am pro-people. I'm not a nationalist but am a universalist. Later in April 2016, the Allahabad High Court quashed the decision citing the violation of principle of natural justice. Controversies In 2002, he attended the opening session of a conference organized by the Communist Party of India, Marxist-Leninist Liberation, CPIMLL. Several prominent social activists, environmentalists, and writers turned activists like Mahashweta Devi, Arundhati Roy, Sandeep Pandey, Rajinda Satcher, Prayful Bidwai, and Anand Patwardhan attended only the opening session of the Six-Day Congress. 
Sandeep Pandey and other social activists did not attend the closing session in which the kin of about 1,000 Naxalites who were killed in police action in Bihar were reportedly honoured. Upon receiving the Ramon Magsaysay Award, he returned the cash portion of the award on being challenged to do so by a Philippine newspaper for his earlier remarks describing America as, the biggest terrorist state in the world. Pandey later clarified that he had never meant to criticize the people of the United States but its government. In 2010, he visited Dantawada district in Chhattisgarh for a Jan Sunvayi on atrocities by the local government. His visit was seemingly opposed by some members of local tribal community, where some local tribals were shown to be protesting against him and his team. It was said by Mehta Potkar that the protest was stage managed. By the district administration officials themselves and the government was rousing the locals' rural folk against the civil rights workers. Potkar also added that their team is not in favor of government responding to the violence perpetrated by Maoists by further violence by the state. She referred to Salwa Judam as an example of excesses by the state. <laughs> Personal life Pandey lives in Indira Nagar, Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. He is married to Arundhati Daru and has two children, Ananda and Chaitanya Pandi. He does not wear ironed clothes and does not take milk, as according to him, cows produce milk for their young ones. He has campaigned along with school students of Shiksha Nikitan and its principal, Dr. Brahmanand Mishra, in his home district of Balia, against soft drink manufacturers. See also Right to Information Act